shoes. <laughs> yeah. Now, this looks good. I wouldn't not try them. Yeah, we will try these. Okay. All right, so we were at the grocery store and we found this. This is Cheetos mac and cheese. It's just like Kraft macaroni and cheese, I presume, except it's by Cheetos, the cheesy snack. Snacks. And these are flaming Hot Cheetos, but this is mac and cheese flaming Hot Cheetos. So we're gonna give these two items a try today. Some unusual grocery store products that we've never seen before and never tried before. And today we're gonna pit them head to head and see which one is the best. Now the first thing I wanna do is get a closer look at these products. Cheetos mac and cheese, bold and cheesy, and flame and hot. They're both mac and cheese. They're not elbow macaroni, as you can see. It looks like they're more like corkscrew pasta. But let's find out what we need. Let's hope we have the ingredients to complete these recipes. Creamy, cheesy, and so easy to love. And this one is spicy, cheesy, and so easy to love. Stove top, that we'll be doing it on the stove top. We'll need butter. We have that water, we have that, and milk, we do have that. So I think we have everything we need. So it looks like the process is generally the same as if you've ever made Kraft macaroni and cheese. You basically bring the water to a boil, you boil the pasta for seven minutes, you drain it, do not rinse it, as it says very prominently right here in all capital letters, and then you add butter, milk, and the seasoning packet. So let's open these up and take a look at the seasoning. Ah, uh, there it is. There's the pasta and the seasoning packet, and this is where all the magic comes from. The secret seasoning. Chester's Cheetos secret seasoning. And this is the flaming Hot. And this is the regular one. Just the creamy, cheesy one. And the packets look exactly the same, so I better keep them separated. <laughs> There is a slight color difference in the flaming Hot Spicy version and the regular creamy version, bold and creamy, bold and cheesy, I'm sorry, bold and cheesy mac and cheese and flaming Hot mac and cheese. These are the two varieties. That's that one and that's that one. There's our water. It's, we're just waiting for it to boil. Guess I shouldn't watch the pot. You know what they say? <laughs> I'm just waiting to make our mac and cheese. Okay, I won't I won't look at the pot. Okay, I, I'm I can't not look at the pot. Alright, let's put in the hot stuff. There's a little, little tip here on the box says, also try a Cheetos Double Dare. Top your flaming Hot Mac with some Cheetos flaming Hot Crunchy. Sold separately. So there, there you go. Of course. And what about these ingredients? What's in here? So the ingredients in the flaming Hot Mac and Cheese, wheat flour, whey, salt, buttermilk, cheddar cheese, citric acid, corn syrup solids, maltodextrin, modified cornstarch, monosodium glutamate, mm. natural and artificial flavor, which I think also means MSG, onion powder, sugar, sunflower oil, whey protein concentrate, yeast extract, red 40 lake, yellow 5, yellow 6, disodium inosinate, and disodium guanolate, two of my favorite disodiums, garlic powder, guar gum, hydrolyzed soy protein, lactose, sodium diacetate, xanthan gum, oh, I think our food's ready, and niacin, iron, thiamine, monotrate, riboflavin, and folic acid. <laughs> All right. All right, now we got our butter and our milk. Seems like a lot of butter. 
All right, let's drain this first pot of pasta. Woo. And do not rinse. Now we add the butter. Let that melt in. And our second pot of pasta ready to drain. Butter. All right. And now the milk. Okay, about a quarter cup of milk. second pot so now we can put our our flame in our first one is going to be the flame in all right that is red it definitely smells like flaming hot cheetos and it sure <laughs> looks like it too okay all right this is the bold and cheesy this looks more like a craft mac and cheese, orange color. All right, I think our mac and cheese is ready. We have two types of mac and cheese and it is not Kraft macaroni and cheese, it's Cheetos macaroni and cheese. And we have bold and cheesy and the layman hot Cheetos. And as you can see, this is some weird looking mac and cheese. Still got some of that powder all over the fork here, but I think it looks pretty, pretty well done inside of here. Uh, this one almost looks scary. It's so very red. Yeah, got ourselves some bowls here and we're gonna try. Huh mac and cheese. All right, Catherine's here to try along with me the Cheetos mac and cheese. So why don't you go ahead and give that a try. Oh my goodness. What, which one should I try first? I think I'm going to try the bold and cheesy first and work up to All the right. Flaming Hot. I All think right. that's the advisable route. Okay, let me get mine. Okay. Here. Let's try. I don't know. It doesn't taste like Cheetos <laughs> cheese. Yeah, but it doesn't taste like Kraft Mac and cheese either. Mm. Oh wait, the aftertaste was a bit more yeah. Cheetos-y. Yeah, it does taste more like Cheetos yeah. than Ma Kraft Mac and cheese. I'm not right. Enough, I'm not sure if I want that. Right. <laughs> okay. I guess that's what it's supposed to be. Yeah. Let's yeah. try yeah. the flaming Hot one. All right. <laughs> Mmm. Oh, this definitely tastes like Cheetos. Oh. You think so? Mm. It definitely tastes like Cheetos. They're hot. It's I got super the flame hot. hot. It's like it's like an intense heat. Yeah. I kind of like the heat. Oh, well, I will say I've never cared for flame and hot okay. Cheetos. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> it's one reason I don't really think I like this. But you like it? Yeah. I I was I was really thinking I wasn't going to like it. But I actually do. I kind of like that heat. And I don't know if I could do a whole box of it. A little no. portion is fine. Okay, try one shot. Mm. Mm. It's not objectionable. Honestly. It's it's okay. I If I had to pick between the two, I think I would pick the bold and cheesy one more. Only because this flaming red hot is pretty hot. It, yeah. And I don't think I could even finish like this portion. But this one's not so bad, especially because it does taste like Cheetos on the after. Yeah, I can't have the flame in one. That's just too much. One bite and it's like way too mm. much for me. And honestly, the regular ones, it's not that great. The yeah. bowl and cheesy. Yeah, yeah, it's... I'll just stick to Kraft yeah. macaroni and cheese. Yeah. It's a classic for a reason. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, trust me, I, I agree. I. I would prefer a Kraft original mac and cheese over this, but 
So choosing between these two, I'd pick this one. All right, let's rate them. Zero to 10. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna give the flaming Hot Ones a one only because, you know, I, I'd give it a zero because I would never ever <laughs> eat it again, except I understand it's just, some people like that mm. flaming Hot flavor mm. and I do not. So I'll give it one, just maybe somebody else would like it better. But as far as the regular bowl and cheesy, mm -hmm. you know, like a five. It's like, okay. it's only halfway as good as a Kraft yeah. macaroni and cheese. So what, what do you, how do you rate these? Zero to 10? Zero out of 10. I'm going to give the Flaming Hot Cheetos mac and cheese a five. But I'm, I'm sorry, let me give that a three and I will give the Bold and Cheesy a five. Oh. I thought you, you oh, I guess you were saying you couldn't eat too much of it. I couldn't the eat too much of it. it. Yeah. The flavor isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I just, I can't eat that much of it. It's bad. Though. But <laughs> I'm still giving it like a three because it's like, it's not like my preferred flavor. Yeah. But this one's just mildly, slightly better. Yeah. Needs more chemicals. <laughs> they need to add a few more chemicals more. to make it even, even better because it's not so good as it is. Now, yes. like I said, if you like the flame and hot flavor, maybe. Yeah. But even if you like the flame and hot flavor, could you really eat like a whole no, serving no. of this? No. I don't That's why so. I gave it a three. It just, yeah. It's it's good for like just a couple of bites of just for curiosity's sake. I definitely couldn't eat yeah. the whole thing. That's, that's the whole reason we made it, just out of curiosity. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And be sure to subscribe for more. It's free. We paid for these those. How much did these cost? I meant to say that. Oh. Okay, so on sale, these were on sale. So we paid $1.50 for each box. Uh, we saved 69 cents. So I guess it's a, usually a dollar nine or two nineteen. We paid a dollar fifty for each. Three dollars for the two boxes. Yeah, that's not too bad for something that I'm just gonna put in the trash. <laughs>